Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. It's been a bit of news in the past few weeks about people using ChatGPT and in this article we can see they've said accidentally but when you upload something to ChatGPT that's not really an accident, it's something you've done on purpose. Basically this idea that ChatGPT can take and store and use things that you have used as part of your usage of it. So this is something that's pretty serious and today I wanted to explore this a little bit more and look at what options you have within ChatGPT to turn this off. Ultimately, if you are dealing with commercially sensitive code, I would not be uploading this to ChatGPT at all. I think that is a really risky move, even where they do have options that say that it won't record your data. So I started off and I just asked, and maybe I could rephrase the question a few times and see how the answer changes, but I asked ChatGPT whether it's going to be storing my prompts, and you can see that the answer that it gave me is a little bit vague, where it said, well, no, but yeah, but maybe. Uh, so not very convincing. So then I jumped into their privacy policy. Privacy policy, very much about your personal information. And we do notice down here in section one, second bullet point, that we may collect personal information that is included in the input file uploads and feedback you provide to our services. They also highlight that if you're using ChatGPT through an API and some other service, that is going to be governed by the agreements with those services and not with them. So these are two really important points to know. So what can we do about this? First thing is just not to upload anything you shouldn't. The only option you really do have, and you can see here that I haven't upgraded to Plus just yet, although I am pretty tempted, is if we come down to User Account, Go to settings and then hit data controls. We can see that there is actually a button here to turn on and off the chat history and training. It is not completely clear whether turning this off will stop all data retention by ChatGPT. So for something that is genuinely risky, I would not risk this. However, this is the option that you do have access to. So if you are uploading things that perhaps it's a little bit of a gray area or you would prefer that ChatGPT doesn't continue to use for model training, then you can untick this button and that's as far as it goes. It would be nice to have a more expanded uh, area of privacy and data retention and things like that and hopefully that is coming in the future. Certainly I do wonder about whether there is a little bit of threading the needle here with GDPR provisions for those of you who are in Europe. But this is what we have so far. We've just got this one button. If you are at all concerned, definitely make sure you have a look at their privacy policy. See what it covers in terms of their collection and usage of data. And if in doubt, don't upload. Thanks for watching, I will be back really soon with more videos on R, statistics, research, AI and other random stuff.